Hello everyone, Kevin here in the Paleo Prep Lab. Today I want to share with you some fun facts about shark tooth hunting on our beaches in the summertime. So the very first shark I have is my favorite. It's called Snaggletooth Shark, Hemipriestus cera, uh, and this is classified as a weasel shark. So during the Miocene epoch, these sharks were quite large the size of modern great white sharks. Today, the surviving snaggletooth sharks, different species, very small. So here are some jaws from them. And you can see their teeth are quite unusual. They are very serrated, pointy. They're designed for snagging and catching fish. So we wouldn't be worried about these sharks today. They're also quite rare. They're only in the Indian Ocean, that part of the world. But during the Miocene epoch, these sharks were very large and they hunted sea cows and manatees. Uh, we find sea cow manatee bones with the marks from these specific shark's teeth on them frequently. Now, if you will take a look at what I've got right here. These are snaggletooth shark teeth. In this shark, there is a difference between the upper jaw and lower jaw teeth. So these are upper jaw, these are lower jaw. So with the upper jaw tooth, what you're looking for, when you're looking at the root, it has a sharp angle right here in the corner, a notch, and then a bump in the center of the root that you'll be able to feel with your finger. The inner edge is quite serrated very serrated, irregular serrations, like a steak knife, kind of. Um, and then the outer edge has a curve. You can see in the tooth that is a little worn down, we're missing some of that root. Uh, we don't have in this one the difference in color between the root and the crown that we have um, in this one. Uh, so this could be a difficult identification if you weren't looking for these serrations and those curves on the teeth. Now in the lower jaw tooth, we don't have as much of the curve. It's a little bit straighter in the crown, but still have that very, very serrated edge. We don't have the leveling off at the top that the upper tooth has, but we still have that nice deep dip in the center, and if you feel with your finger, there is still the knot or bump in the center of the tooth. This is the version that's worn down. This is probably gonna be one of your harder identifications. When we lose those serrated edges because of tumbling action, you're gonna still feel the bump in the center of the root. That can help you make that identification. So those are snaggletooth shark teeth.